wait a couple minutes while Facebook builds me an audience. Anybody gonna join me? Hi everybody. Oh, I see I see thumbs up. Hi. Hi guys. Doug says hi too. Hi, Aubrey and Stockton. I'm gonna wait just a couple more seconds. I am, I just got done scarfing down my dinner. Hi, Brittany. So that I wouldn't be late. Hi, Morgan. Since I was totally late the other night, felt like a big liar. <laughs> bye bye, straight hair. I know. So I will just, I'm gonna go ahead and get started so I don't keep you guys like all night long because you probably have way more important things to do on a Thursday. Um, so. A lot of people, okay, I'm just going to be real honest about my hair, okay? No judgment zone here, okay? The key to good hair, and by good hair I mean styling good hair. Hi Amanda, hi Jennifer, hi Miss Deborah. Um, don't wash it that much, okay? Just don't wash it that much. Don't wash it every day. Don't wash it every other day. I wash mine. <clears throat> I don't know if I should tell y'all this or not. I only wash my hair every three to four to five days. And honestly, I think that's pretty normal. So, I want to hear it. But, um, all of that to say, my hair is always its best on like, the third or fourth day and then when it gets to where I can't do anything with it I can't curl it anymore I can't straighten it anymore then I just throw it up in a knot and we've talked about that so we don't have to go there um, but this hair is I washed it yesterday morning and I flat ironed it yesterday <clears throat> and then today I didn't do anything to it um, nothing I just brushed it I slept on it like this and I just woke up. I didn't want to put a flat iron on it this morning knowing that I was going to curl it for you guys tonight. So that's why I did that. But here's the thing. Dirty hair curls well to me. Sometimes clean hair, if you have kind of frizzy hair, curls really well. Um, hold on, please. Get back. Go. Um, I'm not like a hair expert, so I don't know the differences between like if you have really fine hair or coarse hair or thick hair or thin hair, um, what is best for and everybody's hair is different in terms of how it holds curls whether it's clean and dirty and all that fun stuff so hi miss Tina um, so for me mine will hold a curl I have pretty thick hair I think I mean I don't I wouldn't call it super coarse and it's not like crazy thick but it's pretty thick and mine will hold a curl pretty much no matter if it's clean or dirty or whatever but I'm gonna show you some of my favorite products that I use for when my hair is like super clean and I want to dirty it up a little bit so that it'll hold a curl a little bit better. Um, and all of these will be posted on my website before I go to bed tonight. So just know that that's where you can find all of them. Oh, and before we get started, I have a really awesome gift to give away. I'm going to show you what it is first and then I'll tell you how you can win it. Are you ready? Who's ready? Let me see some thumbs up, some hearts. I have it right here. Do you want to see it? It's the curling iron that I'm going to use. I bought you one. There we go. Okay, so how do you win this curling iron? You win this curling iron by sharing my video. All you gotta do is share it. I'll go through the list of people who have shared it and then Susie, I heard that. Um, I'll go through the list of people who shared it, and then I will mail you, or if you live close to me, I'll meet you, and I'll give you this curling iron. Okay, so the curling iron that I use is, it's just a Hot Tools. Um, you can get it on Amazon, you can get it at Ulta. You can probably get it at a lot of other places. But those of you that know me know that those are really the only two places that I 
shop. So um, it's a, I use a one and a quarter inch. I have used just a one inch before, which is just a little bit smaller and that works fine too. Some people can get away with an inch and a half. So it just depends on your hair and how it curls and all that fun stuff. But here it is. I also will be using, I'll talk about the products as I use them and then we'll just go from there. If you have any questions, just let me know. So the first thing that I do every time I wash my hair, is I use this heat styling protection and I spray it on while my hair is wet. So this is what it looks like. It's made by Moroccan oil and it's just like a little like spritzer thing. Um, it smells really good and it just kind of helps protect your hair from the blow dryer, the curling iron, the straightener, all that fun stuff. So clearly I'm not going to do that now because my hair is not wet, but I do that and then I just blow dry it and then go from there. I do almost always even if I'm gonna immediately curl my hair after I blow dry it I almost always still kind of like really loosely run a flat iron through my hair super fast just to get some of the frizz out you can also use product for that too so some people's hair won't hold a curl if you flat iron it first so totally up to you and how your hair works like I said I'm no professional but that's what I do um, okay so I'm going to curl my hair the very first thing I do is spray it with hairspray. So this is my new favorite hairspray. I get this from um, Ben Hudgens, who does my hair. He's out of Fort Worth, Texas. But I will, whenever I'm working on the website tonight to post the link to all this stuff for you guys, I'll look and see if I can find it online. Um, it is from Colorproof, and it is a Color Protect working hairspray. And I think that's what makes it so awesome is that it's a working hairspray right so it's stiff in the sense that it will put enough product on your hair for the curl to hold but it's a working hairspray so you can still like you know brush your curls out and kind of move your hair around and stuff like that so that's why I think it's really great so what I do first is I just go through and I spray my entire head with this hairspray so and I'll be looking this way a lot because that's where my mirror is at so I just kind of like separate my hair out, spray all of it. You can see it's like, whoa, <laughs> it's getting like stiff, see? And then I'm done. I'm just kidding, I'm not done. Another thing is some people really like to separate their hair out like in sections. The reason why I love curling my hair is because it's so fast. So I don't separate it out in sections. I just kind of like work through it, grab some pieces, make sure they're all curled, bada bing, bada boom. So um, I don't separate my hair out, but you are more than welcome to just separate it out like in sections. If you have a lot of hair, if you have really long hair, really thick hair, you know, whatever. My curling iron's already heated up. I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to curl it super fast so we can, talk more after but I'll be reading the comments while I'm doing this so I just start I kind of so I also switch my part like every other day right like whichever way my hair wants to blow dry the few times I wash it um, that's how I part it so sometimes I have a middle part sometimes I have like a middle ish side part and sometimes I have a full-blown side part right now I have a middle part so I just kind of pull like separate my hair down the middle and the back and pull both to the front and then I just start to the front of this side. Now, here's the key to get the look that I'm gonna be doing tonight. If you want like a really um, like tousled, textured look, you can do every other curl a different way. But the look that I'm gonna be doing it tonight is gonna to be both sides away from the face. I only wash my hair like two or three times a week. Three is pushing it, most of the time just twice. The temperature of the iron, so this iron goes up to 430 degrees. I use it on the hottest setting because I do have thicker hair, but if you have thinner hair, turn it down. And you can kind of play with the temperature a little bit to see. Did the dog sneeze? Yes, the dog's sneezing, he's, y'all, he's so bad. Brett, um, Brett's out of town right now, and when Brett's gone, Doug is like, he's crazy. So I just start at the front, and I curl away from the base. Oh, and I, I work it like, oh, and I don't go all the way to the end, and I'll show you why later, but I like leave a little bit right here. Do you use 
use. Yes! Oh my gosh, I totally forgot. Hold please, I forgot a product. Okay, I can't find it, but I'll post it on the website. So it's by, um, I do use a dry shampoo. Sorry, I'm, a, I'm such a slacker. I use a dry shampoo and I do that before I do the hairspray. So even if my hair's clean, I just kind of go through and I spray the dry shampoo like all through it just to kind of give it more body and more texture. Um, and my shirt, it says Sweet Tea, Bluebell, Waylon and Willie and it's from my best friend Courtney. Um, and I spray the dry shampoo all through my hair. And the brand is called, I think it's called Not Your Mother's or something, but it's a really awesome like texturizing um, dry shampoo spray. So I will post that on the website for sure. Um, but thank you, Stacy, for pointing that out. I totally forgot. Okay, there's a curl. So then I just, like I said, I just kind of separate it out. I do pretty big chunks. Pretty big chunks. And I try to keep the curl as close to my scalp as possible without going like all the way to the end. And like I said, I'll show you why I don't go all the way to the end later. But yeah, not your mother's. That's what it's called. Okay, good. <laughs> I think you know, I think the comments are delayed. See how the curls are pretty stiff because of the, the hairspray. I'm just gonna keep separating it. What are you guys doing tonight? This is literally all I'm doing. <laughs> I have some news about the blog. I have news about the blog, but I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you later. Okay. The curling iron is a Hot Tools, Hot Tools Professional, and it is a one and a quarter inch, Beth. Working. What's working? Oh, you're working. Ooh. Are you making clothes, Courtney? Relaxing. That's awesome, Tracy. That's what I'm doing. Well, I'm curling my hair. I'm just trying to figure out where I'm going to go when I'm done curling my hair. So I just keep separating it. Make sure to get all the pieces underneath. And this literally takes like, I'm just gonna say seven minutes because I feel like that's how long my makeup takes too. I do not spend a lot of time getting ready in the morning. I just don't. People think I do, but I don't. It's all about strategy. Watching you. Oh, oh, that's fun. Hoodies, Valentine's outfits. MJ called me. Did I miss the brand? Wish I had that much hair. Tammy, I really don't have that much hair. I don't. I mean, it's thick, but I don't have that much of it. Amber, it just takes practice. Just practice. My makeup. You guys, this is the, like, literally the exact same makeup that I did the other day in my video. It's, it's literally my everyday look. And I have, I have really good lighting right now, so don't let that fool you either. So I'm still doing the same thing, just curling in chunks. Don't go all the way down to the end, but go all the way up to the top. Oh, you have really fine hair. Yeah. That could be more challenging. My extensions, okay, so I wear my extensions for, well, it just depends. Like photo shoots most of the time, or like if I have a big event, stuff like that. Wish my hair would curl like yours. Guys, your hair will curl, I promise. Like I know we all have different textures and thicknesses and stuff, um, but if you find, do you just have to find the right products that work for your hair, you know what I mean? Okay, so see, that didn't take that long and I was talking. So then I'm just gonna like, you know, just spray it some more with that. And then I'm gonna take my other half and do my other side. I have very thick hair and it doesn't hold curls. 
Now, this is this gets tricky. Are you watching? You gotta watch. You have to flip the curling iron upside down to curl it away from your face. You don't want curls like this. Not cute. So we gotta curl away from the face. I'm not competing again, guys. I give up my Oklahoma title in March. I'm super sad about it, but I will not be competing again. I'm gonna focus on school. See how I'm going away from the face like this? I do not have extensions in right now. No, this is my real hair. I kind of cut it. I went through one of those. You know like you go through phases where you're like, well, I want to shave my head. I went through one of those, so I cut all my hair off. But I do have clip-in extensions, and I think I saw somebody ask what kind of extensions I use. Um, whenever I have fusion extensions, like permanent extensions in, they are from DiBiase, D-I-B-I-A-S-E, DiBiase. Um, and then whenever I do clip-in extensions, uh, my hairdresser, Ben Hudgens in Fort Worth, out of Zeba Salon, go see him, he's thebomb.com. You've probably seen me post about him. Um, he makes custom clip-in extensions and they are fabulous. You literally cannot tell that they're not your real hair. Callie, I know. I'm coming to Texas this weekend, Callie. Tomorrow. I don't know if my video just cut out, but my husband just tried to call and it kind of scared me because the video went away. He knows I'm live. Brett, what he's doing, he knows. I told him. Men don't listen though. Don't tell him I said that. So I'm just doing the same thing on this side. I'm just sectioning it out. Guys, like I said, you can section your whole hair out at the beginning if you want. I just don't do it because ain't nobody got time for that in the morning whenever I'm getting ready to go to work. So, and also don't forget, don't go all the way down to the end if you want this look. Brett's are the best. I'm coming in for a baby shower. Hi, Blake. I feel like I need to turn so you guys can see. I feel like I'm getting really sidetracked and forgetting that the purpose that, like the reason why you guys are on here is to watch me curl my hair and not listen to me talk. This is just so fun. It's like we're at a slumber party. So I'm just doing the same thing. And if you don't like this look at the end, then change up the curls. Go all the way to the end with your curls. Do smaller sections. Separate your hair out. Your curling style and how you do it just depends on the look that you want. My chair, this is my dining room chair, but thank you. I'm in my little home gym office area right now. Okay. Brand of curling iron. I will put this on my website under my favorites tab, but it is a Hot Tools Professional. It's a one and a quarter inch. It comes in a purple box and for those of you that weren't on at the beginning, guess what? If you share my video, you, you get put in the drawing for curling iron. The exact same curling iron that I'm using. I'm gonna put your name in a drawing. I'm also giving away something else. We'll talk about that when the time comes. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about my blog while I'm doing this. Hi, Farrell. Um, okay, so my blog. I am working on my first blog post right now, and it will post on Sunday. So I'm super, I'm just gonna do this big section as one, last one. No, I'm gonna do two. Um, it's gonna post on Sunday, and I am committing to doing one blog post a week, but I'm really gonna shoot for two, because I wanna do, I wanna do some, um, like really content rich blog posts. And then I also want to do some fun ones, like some recipes and some fashion stuff and stuff like that. So I'm going to try to do two a week, one absolutely for sure. And the first one comes out on Sunday. So be sure that you go to my website. It's I am Beth and subscribe and you will get email updates whenever a blog is done. Okay. I'm done. For now so I'm just gonna spray this side again and then this is the next 
most important tool, besides the curling iron, of course, this comb. So this comb is a Conair Style and Volume Lift, Smooth, and Separate comb. Looks like this when you buy it. Oh, I know what you're wondering. You're wondering why I have one in the package. That's because I'm giving it away, because I got two. So I bought you one. This drawing will be done from my um, subscriptions on my website. So if you haven't subscribed, subscribe, and your name will be put in a drawing for the comb. I know it's not quite as cool as the curling iron, but it's still pretty cool. This comb is like amazing. It has um, like two outer, I have hair everywhere. I shed really bad. It has like two outer, um, like wider toothed combs and then a, a really thin set on the inside. Cookbook, yes. Yeah, Candy, let's make a cookbook. Okay, so I'm not, so, most of the time, like on a daily basis, I don't tease my hair like up to Jesus. Um, but I, I don't like my hair flat. So I do tease it a little bit, but I don't, unless I'm going to like a really important event or like where everything has to be super polished, I don't put a lot of effort into like separating out sections and starting up here and working all the way back to the crown of my head and then doing the sides. And like I said, I don't have time for that in the morning. I'm tired so I just kind of maybe like halfway back maybe like right here Morgan you have one of these they're the best Erin you do too aren't they the best okay and then I just kind of pull it back like this like this and then I just now if I was like going somewhere important where I needed to like perfectly teased hair I would probably use my hairspray and like do that and like spray each layer as I go but I'm not it's not what I'm going for right now so and I just back comb it a little bit and then I might do another piece and then I'm done that looks so good I'm just kidding where'd you get the comb you can uh, I think you can get this comb at a lot of places Probably Ulta or Target, maybe even like Walgreens or Walmart. Okay, so then the great thing about this comb is that you can kind of brush your teeth out too because of the way that these bristles are situated. So I just kind of like, you don't want to go all the way down to the scalp, but um, you know, just kind of like combing out a little. And where you tease and like where you situate your tees might depend on your part too. So like I have a middle part, so I don't want to start all the way up here and go straight back. And then I also kind of take these front pieces right here and just give those a little tease and then comb it out. Teases don't have to be perfect. Becky, your hair refuses to tease. Maybe you need to try a different product or something. I don't know. Okay, so see how that just kind of made it look? And you can, you know, push it around, play with it, all that fun stuff. Um, okay, so now what I'm about to do, you're probably going to be like, <gasps> no, she didn't. But yes, I did. I take my brush my big flat backed brush and I brush it all out all out I'm trying to set up so you guys can see me brush it all out like that and then I have another secret weapon I'm not even going to try to say the brand of this. K-E-U-N-E. K-U-N-E? Q-N-E? It's press wax hairspray. So this is the same sort of concept. Same sort of concept as like a texturizing spray, but it's a wax spray. And I get this from my hair guru in Fort Worth, Ben Hudgens, who just got on. 
Benjamin Hudgens just got on. He's going to comment in a second. You guys, that's who, that's who does my hair and that's who teaches me all this stuff. But this press wax he gave to me to use like throughout the winter since the air is more dry. So instead of it being like a, like more of a powdery, um, texturizing spray, it's more of like a wax. So it's more like sticky. There he is, Ben. There he is right there, guys. I drive all the way from Oklahoma to see him. So I know... I know most of you live around here. You can drive. Okay, so what I do with it is I just I just kind of hold the curls out like this. And at this point, they're more they're more waves, right? And I just kind of spray it through. So the purpose of this is so that the curls don't like clump together and create like this one big curl on each side. Is the point of this. So I just kind of spray it all throughout. Separate it, mush it around, and that is it, you guys. That did not take very, I don't know what time it is, but I don't feel like that took very long at all, and I was talking the whole time. So, you can kind of see, like, how the ends, how I didn't go all the way to the end with the curling iron. They stayed kind of straight. Is it heavy? Because my hair is hella heavy um so I'm not gonna say it's like the lightest thing ever it is like it's it's waxy so it's not super super light but I don't feel like I don't feel it on my hair if that makes sense 28 minutes boom okay so one other thing I was gonna tell you is see how all the curls have kind of like like it's more of just like a you know, like a soft sort of wavy look. Um, if you want tighter curls, don't brush them out, obviously. Whenever you um, do your curls all the way to the end and don't brush them out at the end, you can just spray them with hairspray and maybe run your fingers through them. I just like this look for an everyday look because it's not super put together. Um, I don't know if you'd call it like beachy waves, but... Um, it's just kind of tousled. So I like this for an everyday look. If, you, if you're having trouble not going all the way down to the end with your curling iron, I always keep my flat iron handy and you can just go through on the ends and just flat iron the ends. You don't want to do it too much where it looks like tight curl flat, but um, I always plug it in just in case. What kind of hairspray? The hairspray that I've been using is All Around Color Protect Working Hairspray by Colorproof. Um, and I will look online and post where you can find this. I get it from my hair dresser, Ben. What about short hair? Is mine too short? Miss Tina, I don't know how short your hair is right now. But I will say my hair has been like here. And it totally still works. These curls just start up higher. The key to me in getting this sort of look outside of the product is using enough product so that the curls are, you know, that they're sticking and that they're going to stay, but then brushing them out. That's how you kind of get this loose look. So Janet, thank you. So that's that really, that's it. Um, you guys have any more questions? A little shorter than my pick. Yeah, I think you could totally do it for sure. Yeah. You might need a smaller barrel curling iron though. That's another thing. If your hair is shorter, you might want like a one inch. I don't know if I would go to a three quarter inch because that's pretty small. You might start looking like Shirley Temple, but maybe like a one inch and that way you can get closer to your scalp. I just got here. I'll be watching. Oh, thank you, Sonia. You're so sweet. Okay, so I will post all of the products on my website. Thank you, Christina. Y'all are so sweet. Do not forget... Do you not wash your hair after? Casey, don't judge me. No, I don't. I don't. I wash my hair like twice a week. And I think Ben agrees with me. I think I'm I think I'm in a safe zone saying that while Ben's on here. Makes me want to go. I'm gonna try it. I'm not really a hair person either. And honestly, that's kind of why I do this, because it doesn't take hardly any time at all in the morning. And if I want it, like if I slept. I'm going to sleep on this tomorrow. I'm literally not going to have to touch my hair. I'm going to wake up. I'm going to brush it out. And then I'm going to go to work. Which, by the way, we have a delayed start tomorrow. I don't have to be 
to work at work until 10 because we're getting ice. See, Ben says yes. Ben says yes. He says it's okay to not wash your hair all the time. So you have permission. Do you ever curl it with a straightener? Um, I don't, but I think it's just because I haven't invested in a really awesome straightener that I feel like I could effectively curl my hair, but you can totally do that if that works for you. I am too. Yep. Okay. I have a curling iron for you. All you have to do is share my video. Share my video. I'm going to do a drawing. Somebody will win the curling iron. If you uh, have subscribed to my website, your name will be put in a drawing for the comb. My website's www.iambethisbell.com. Do you put your hair up to sleep? No, I don't. Sometimes I do, but most of the time I don't. I don't like the feeling of like a ponytail, you know, while I'm like trying to sleep. It doesn't really work for me. So these are the goodies. Share the video, drawing for a curling iron, subscribe to my page, drawing for the teasing comb. This teasing comb will change your life. I'm not being dramatic either. I'll post all the products on the favorites tab of my website. My first blog will come out on Sunday, so be sure that you have subscribed so that you get that notification when the blog gets posted. And what else? I don't want to stay on much longer because I know that y'all have important stuff going on. And I have important stuff going on too. Psh, like I don't have something to do. Right, Doug? He's sleeping right now. I don't have much to do. Except update the website so that you guys have access to all these products. Um, so I'm going to give you until 6 p.m. tomorrow night to share the video for the curling iron and to subscribe for the comb drawing. At 6 o'clock tomorrow night, um, I will, oh, scratch that. I'm going to be driving. Um, Tracy, I can't wait to make you, meet you either. I'm going to be driving at 6 o'clock tomorrow, so uh, just get it done sometime tomorrow. Midnight. We'll go with midnight. By midnight tomorrow, share the video for the curling iron or the teasing comb. And comment below some more ideas. I know you guys are running a live workout and a ponytail tutorial, so we'll definitely be doing that. But whatever else you want, I got you. I got you. So I hope you all have a... Super fabulous Thursday evening. Um, I will talk to you all soon. Bye.